I love getting these kind of comments. Why? Because it gives me all the reason to make a video about it. The label Made in China has long been associated with the perception of low quality and mass-produced goods. Conversely, products bearing the prestigious labels of Made in France or Made in Italy are often perceived as luxurious and crafted with exceptional skill. However, as global manufacturing and production practices evolve, it's important to challenge these assumptions and explore the actual reality of what's behind these labels. In today's interconnected world, the Made in China label should not automatically disqualify a product from being considered a luxury item as craftsmanship and quality can be found regardless of geographical origin. So why is made in France and made in Italy perceived as more prestigious than made in China? For centuries France and Italy have held reputation for exquisite craftsmanship and unparalleled quality in luxury goods. The rich heritage and tradition in these countries have cultivated an image of prestige and exclusivity. Brands like Chanel, Dior and Hermes have become synonymous with luxury, elegance, sophistication, due in part because of this Made in France and Made in Italy label. This association has been reinforced by the meticulous attention to detail and the use of premium materials, ensuring that consumers perceive these products as superior in quality. And for my personal thoughts about that, these artists and craftsmanship, it is beautiful and they do take an exceptional amount of skill and training to get there. And to create something to that level, it simply just takes Time. In recent years, globalization has transformed the landscape of manufacturing and production. Many luxury brands have embraced global supply chains to streamline their processes and to meet growing demands. This shift has allowed them to harness the expertise and efficiency offered by the various regions, including China. While China was once primarily associated with mass production, it's now become the hub for skilled labor and advanced manufacturing techniques. I also think when it comes to the reputation of China producing cheap items, we instantly think of companies like H&M, Zara, Shein, Primark, where they produce items really quickly and cheaply. And there can be many items that you just wear once or twice and then it starts to fall apart. But in fast fashion, you can find those hidden gems in there and they can be quite good quality and last for years. And I talk about this in my other video about quiet luxury and I'll link the video up here. Contrary to popular belief, there are numerous examples of high quality craftsmanship in China. Chinese manufacturers have invested in advanced technologies and implemented rigorous quality control measures to produce exceptional quality goods. Think to even making iPhones or many really nice computers to even laptops or even like really good cinema cameras. They are mainly produced in China. Why? Most likely because of A resources. B, they have huge manpower over there. And C, they've been producing items for decades by this point. And now just comparing the amount of people that we are talking about in China. If we're just comparing in 2021, the population of the UK is 67 million. And in the US, it's 331 million. And then in China, it's 1.4 billion. And just to give the perspective of what 1 billion looks like in comparison to a million, you can see it here from the analogy of the $100 bill. And 1 billion just looks huge. So even if we just combine the US, Russia and Mexico, adding all of that up still won't reach 1.4 billion or anywhere near it. So it just goes to show that to sustain that amount of people, manufacturing has become an essential just to sustain its own country as well as supply for the rest of the world. And with all of that, that just means they've just built a huge portfolio in manufacturing. And they managed to have a portfolio from creating really cheaply made items to even premium, high-end, crazy, beautiful craftsmanship items. Chinese artisans and craftsmen have honed in their skills, often learning from generations of experienced craftsmen. This dedication to excellence has resulted in luxury products of remarkable quality comparable to those produced in France or Italy, up to the point where even luxury brands have transitioned a lot of their production to be in China. And this can be seen in many brands like Burberry, Prada, Dolce Gabbana, to even LV. But some brands may have kept this information quiet and under the rug to keep the label of made in France or made in Italy by shifting their manufacturing process to produce their products but still being able to produce them in China. One method to keep 
and maintain that label of made in France and made in Italy is that some companies use a hybrid approach to manufacturing their products. While the initial production may occur in China, products are then sent to France or Italy for final assembly or finishing touches. This allows brands to incorporate the esteemed labels associated with French or Italian craftsmanship whilst leveraging the benefits of global manufacturing. As a result, the product that's made is a fusion of Chinese craftsmanship and also European craftsmanship there too. Another aspect worth considering is the global labour market. It's it's not uncommon for luxury brands to employ skilled Chinese workers within their French or Italian facilities. These individuals bring their expertise and contribute to the manufacturing process, ensuring that the final product meets the brand's high standards. So when you look at the product and you look at the quality, whether it is made in China, whether it's made in France or made in Italy, or who made it even, doesn't really matter because I think globally everybody's started to improve their skills and skills can be learned and developed anywhere. And it doesn't matter where you are in the geographical location your skills are your skill set and if you have them you have them if you don't you don't and if you have the funding to do so you have the equipment available there then you have a good product so just to wrap this up i don't think the label made in china should be viewed as automatically something of low quality something of low value because the idea of china as low quality is an assumption made through the history of what china has produced in the past and especially at the time with the small budget they were given i think what many forget is that we are living in an ever-changing ever-evolving world and that also means global manufacturing has also adapted and evolved too and now many manufacturers have developed to be able to produce really exceptional quality items and luxury brands have managed to interconnect that world where they do outsource to places like China to produce their items because they do have the craftsmanship there so the luxury world has adapted to this ever-changing world but the assumptions around it and the common commentary that comes with the assumptions of labels, that hasn't changed yet, but the world has changed. And ultimately, we should really focus on the actual quality of the item rather than just look at the label and see made in France, made in Italy, made in China, made in Vietnam, made in any of these countries. Look at the actual quality of the item. And as consumers, it's very important to point out and challenge these assumptions and just determine for yourself whether you like the item or not, whether it's up to your standard or not before purchasing an item and not just what a label says. So my question is, what do you think about these labels and do you think there is a strong association with where an item is made compared to the actual quality of the product and remember let's reach to as many people out there who want to share a safe space to open up and join our heart to heart conversation see you in the comments down below and if you enjoyed today's video then check out my next video about whether plastic in luxury fashion is a luxury anymore so click over here and i will see you there bye